Hi, everybody. Hello, neighbors. Uh, I think no one here. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I didn't have time to edit the content I recorded Tuesday. Um, so I do have a video. It might be up. All right, am I back? <laughs> Who am I asking? The no ones. <laughs> Take these off. I can't see with them. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thought I'd get some kind of content up. Universal's Wi-Fi is horrible. Horrible. So I'm on my data. Hopefully I can last a little while. So, uh, well, I'm going to walk around Universal. I'm going to do an entire lap around the lake. That might be something to do. Adam's with me. I don't know if he's going to stay the time, but <laughs> he's going to go to wardrobe. <laughs> so. I'm tired because I've been doing things we can't talk about. Yes, things that he can't talk about. Things that, yeah, we can't talk about. Fun things, though. Yes, fun things. Can't even talk about what it's about in general? Uh, no. Okay, no talking about it, what's it about in general. Spoiler alert, it's fun, though. That, that, that's, it's universal. Of course it's going to be fun. Probably full of screens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too small. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I can't say that one either. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What was I, though? No. Yes, I was. Walking by London right now. I would say, if you're in the park and you see me, Say something, but there's no one even on my stream, so just walking around. Excuse me, sir. Where is the Harry Potter and the Escape from Griglets? I am looking closely. I don't see it. That's right. <laughs> it's one of the biggest questions we get here at Universal, no matter where you work in the park, is how do you get to the Harry Potter section? In case you ever wonder, if you see. That section, like right there, right right there, that section. That's where you're walking through. That's the area of the building you're going to walk through. Walk through it. Through the brick wall. Diagonally. Diagonally, yes. <laughs> That'll take you into Diagon Alley, which I'm not going to go into only because of the fact that even though I'm off the clock, not in uniform, anytime I'm here and I'm working, I just feel like if the I shouldn't be in there because tell us I'm not supposed to be there in uniform. <laughs> This also goes for anyone you ask if uh, you want someone to show you how to get there. We can't leave. <laughs> so. All right. Hi, folks. Adam's going to wardrobe. Bye, Adam. So, yeah, we're walking around Universal. I'm going to put you guys on front-facing camera if I can do it. There you go. Now you can see where I'm going. There you go. Oh, San Francisco. I don't know how to do live vlogs that well. I don't do these on a typical basis. Mostly what I know how to do is just wander. I had no cohesive plan for today. You guys want to go see Jaws? Let's go see Jaws. Those guys you don't know, Jaws is still here, not as a ride, just as a thing to go look at. Jay Alcatraz was a nice little bar. I keep forgetting it's even here, to be honest with you. Not over here that often. Here we have Jaws. Yeah, it's a big plastic shark. Look, they're having their heads eaten.
So yes, this is a great picture opportunity for a lot of people here at the park. Let's go over here to Jaws. The last remaining parts of Jaws. Of course, over here, we still have Jay Alcatraz, like I said. This is now the ride building for uh, Fast and Furious. We'll go in the candy store real quick. Let's see what they got in the candy store. I haven't been in here in a while. Minions! Lots of Minion stuff. This is the right one I'm thinking about. It has something Fear Factor-esque. Well, yes, they do. You can get crickets. Sour cream and onion crickets. Very Fear Factor-esque as we do have people eat bugs. Uh, you can get salt and vinegar. And you can also get, what's that one? Bacon and cheese. And there's also barbecue and, uh, what's that? It's trader cheese. Larvae. And then you got lollipops with crickets in them. Big crickets, too. This is larger than the ones I think that's in the little package here. Of course, they have you know, regular candies in here, but yeah, very, very fast for us. Oh, let me show you something else. I don't know if it's open over there. We'll see if it is. We're going through a wall. <laughs> Came in here. Hold on, I'll show you what I'm looking at. Now I find my way back through this gigantic turnstile. No no reason for it, because since, you know, it looks like Richard's might even be closed for the night. I don't know. But, all right. This here is a statue. This is the same statue I'll show you in a little while. This statue is supposed to be from the earthquake that hit San Francisco, i.e., you know, the whole Richter's here. Uh, it is of uh, Lou Waterman. Lou Waterman is the uh, statue that's further out, and I'll explain later. Can't really hit pause, so yeah, ha, ha, ha. I'll explain later as I keep walking. So now we're coming out of San, we're coming in to view of Fast and Furious right over there. And some wonderful, wonderful copyright music. Hooray! No, Fast and Furious is over there. I gotta get myself one of those gimbals, I think, if I'm gonna do this more, but I don't really do live, so it doesn't really matter. This is the projectors. You can see up there, these are the projectors for the nighttime show. Permanent installation. It kind of looks out of place, so I think that I haven't heard anything that they're gonna make it fancier or anything, but out there you can see the water fountains and the ducks. But over here, over here is the actual statue. It's the same statue it was in Richter's that's upside down, missing a head. We'll get over here. Lou Wasserman. I said Waterman earlier. Sorry, I'm thinking the wrong thing, but Wasserman. Chairman of Universal Studios from 1913 to 2002. So there you go. A bunch of information on him. That's what he looks like with the head. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe if I get a little bit better. I don't know. So, my screen is about as bright as it's going to get. All right. Over here is the Starbucks over in the Games of Amusement. It's not a Games of Amusement. It's a Starbucks. If you're over here, though, there is an arcade. Now, something about our arcades, I've noticed. It gets really warm in there because, you know, it's a bunch of electronics. So, I guess it would get warm. Ooh. 
be great if there's other vloggers in the area, but there isn't. So, going over here, the games, arcade games. It's funny because Starbucks is the games of amusement, yet this is the actual games of amusement. Basketball games, some arcade games, a Jurassic Park game, Fast and Furious game. Aliens, Armageddon, that's a new one. Transformer Human Alliance. Here it comes. You can get yourself a fake coach. That may not be fake. We were pretty good about that. Pop figures. Stuffed animals and fidget spinners. And then, like, there's the tickets. You have to hit this thing that moves an arm, and you could win. You probably won't. Yeah, I never have like these kind of arcade games. I've always felt like they're not exactly honest. Yeah, across the street those Finnegan's right there. And then over here, Paradise Theater and the Museum of Antiquities. Also known as Revenge of the Mummy. Probably not gonna go on any rides right now, so. Just wander in the park, doing a loop. Over here, you can get your return tickets for uh, Jimmy Fallon at the Metropolis Tribune. Over here, we have the facade for the Guggenheim Museum. It's in the library. Sorry, the sun's like right in my eyes. Hold on. Those are Eagles fans in the background. There's Jimmy Fallon. Come up on Monsters Cafe on here. Transformers, kind of out of place, I think, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it looks really nice. It's like New York up around this side, and it kind of wraps around, and you get the New York feel over here in this kind of corner. Then all of a sudden, you just hit this big, stark gray building. And again, I don't know how you would really integrate that otherwise, so it's not like you can. This has a freestyle machines, three of them on the back side of uh, this little monster's cafe. Just notice that uh, it's hot outside. Those cool things are nice and cold. Yeah, slush flavors of Coca Cola. Yeah, it looks like, uh, what is that? Kiwi, strawberry, margarita, and pina colada. Ah, those you can actually get alcohol in, like whiskey, rum, tequila, or vodka. Yeah, I like that idea. There's the actual Monsters Cafe. Still no one really. It's 
There's no one watching. Oh well, I'm kind of spur of the moment. This thing. Not like anyone knows I'm live, except for people like no one. No one knows I'm live. I just realized that. Unless you have notifications, did you hit the bell icon? If you hit the bell icon, you would know I'm on live right now. Right now, they're preparing for the 7 o'clock parade. What time's the 7 o'clock parade? I believe that would be 7 o'clock. I'm going to keep going this down this direction. I don't know why I started going that way. That's a shortcut. I'm not going to take the shortcut. I'm going to go the long way. Get some exercise in and walk around the park, you know? Yes, Shrek. It's not very busy today. I mean, it's, it has its lines, but it's not like unbearably busy. Is everyone going in for this? Shrek. I've been Shrek too many times. Ooh, let's go in the Betty Boop store. Do some little uh, merchandise and things, you know? Betty Boop. This also goes into the Hello Kitty store, and that kind of is a nice air-conditioned thing. It's kind of quiet in here. It's nice. Lots well, of Betty Boop stuff. I mean, I would kind of expect exactly that in a... You can buy stuff inspired by movie stars, like the necklace from Kate Hudson down there, or Angelina Jolie's hoop earrings, or Gwen Stefani's rings. Or Chrissy Teigen's curved bar necklace. Uh, yeah, they have all kinds of stuff in here. And then you go into the Hello Kitty store. Hello Kitty store. Hey, there's someone on. Hi. Oh, you left. In the Hello Kitty store, we had a person for a second, and then they disappeared because they didn't want to stick around. Look, those are adorable. I think it's Hello Kitty's sister, if I remember correctly. Now they did a whole thing on uh, what was it? A Netflix, the toys that made us. They did a whole thing on Sanyo and Hello Kitty. Those are Karopi and Choco Cat apples. And cupcakes, and you've got some uh, s'mores and stuff. And you got like all kinds of animals. And look, you can get, you can make your own Hello Kitty ears. That Disney, ha <laughs> ha. So I skipped by the, uh, the lingerie or the, uh, the small little restaurant cafe up front. Oh, well. And that's the Universal Studios store. Too big. I'm not going to go through that. That's usually very, very crowded. I'm just looking to get in and get out. Get through this. Get through this. I like, I, I know I, that's not the way I, I worded it wrong. Sorry, guys. Uh, to get through looking at stuff and... Do my whole loop, and then uh, I'm gonna head out because I got grocery shopping to get to. Look, there's hats. 
You can have a weird Santa hat. How do I look? No. This is a shop full of hats. All kind of hats. I have actually never been in this store. Worked here over a year. Not walked in this store. Hi. You're live, by the way. <laughs> never been in here before? No, never. Uh, the year I've been here, I've never been here. Oh, well, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> kind of fun. Oh, I, I doubt this will fit my head. It's a large. Is that one? They've got Jurassic Park helmets. Thing one and thing two hats. I'm back. Oops, that was an accident. All right. So we're going out of here. This is the Universal Studios Radio Broadcast Center on the air. And if you notice, you can't go, they go in there. So they do have what looks to be a full working studio. I don't honestly know what they do. I've never seen anyone actually in it. There's two of them. Kind of cool. Ah. Schwab's is open. It's summer, officially. His swabs is open. Hooray! Ah, air conditioning. So, swabs is pretty cool because of all the old photos on the walls. All, all kind of old Hollywood stuff. Hello, one person who is here with us. I've also got old candy back here. Oh, hi, hon. <laughs> Holly's on the uh, on the live stream in the comments. So if you see her comments, say hi to her, as if anyone else is even here watching. So this is pretty cool. Next time I'm here, I must get ice cream. Ooh, I forgot about the shop of across the street. Ooh, part two is still out. <laughs> I don't even know what they're doing. This is that shop that was the Secret Life of Pets shop for a while, and I don't know if it's still Secret Life of Pets. It's kind of like everything now. A little bit of Jurassic Park. They even got those cool uh, dirt cars. I wonder if they had the custom builds like they have for the uh, um, what is it? Fast and Furious has them? So that's interesting. And uh, E.T. Plenty of E.T. stuff. There's some Secret Life of Pets. And then over here... They've got trolls! Oh, this is cool. Okay. <laughs> we watched that movie. Ooh. 
It sings. They both sing. You got a di guy diamond. Another poppy here. Yes, I am sure Ava would like all of this. Um, Ava is a huge fan of all things trolls. They've got another guy diamond. This one, this one talks. Squeeze belly. This guy diamond sings when you press his belly. That's pretty cool. We got water bottles, some minion stuff. Of course, we're not in the minion store. That's on the other side. And uh, unicorn so fluffy I could die. So fluffy! They also have, in case you're looking for pop figures, they do carry pop figures here um, for Secret Life of Pets and some. Uh, I thought it was Valmation, but no, Valmation is just the end. Uh, these are just, oh geez, the parade starting. I didn't realize it was almost seven. Oh, good. We got another 15 minutes. I don't have to worry about it. But I'm going to be from that in a second after I stop at the store across the street here. So, down there used to be uh, Transformers. Uh, no, no, not Transformers. The other T. Terminator. Terminator. Every time I say it, my brain flips the words. All right, I don't know why. Terminator, it closed last year for right around during HHN, it closed. But if you walk in here, you can still find lots of Terminator stuff. Lots and lots of Terminator stuff. His eyes glow. I don't know if that picks up. And then you got more pop figures. This is for Suicide Squad and Justice League. Batman. We got some um, sign prints. That's pretty cool. It's kind of a nice little nerd shop in here now. Uh, Joker in his many forms. Honestly, I think the Jared Letter Joker doesn't look all that great. I have not been a fan. But I will say the Batman stuff's pretty cool. Oh, that hulked out Batman. Cheesy 1950s Batman. Oh, that's from Aliens 2 or 3. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and that's another... I'm not sure what I'm that I don't know what that's from, but you got Wonder Woman down here. And some more stuff. You know, it's funny that we have all this because, oh, oh, William Shatner, uh, Shatner signed one. I want it. It's probably, oh, it's $300. No, no, I do not want that. <laughs> it is too expensive. <laughs> it's funny, though, that we have a bunch of DC stuff since we are not uh, at all affiliated with anything Warner Brothers aside from a few things here. Uh, typically, this kind of stuff isn't usually in opposite parks. But what do I know? I don't know anything. Check this out, though. That is some power armor from Fallout 4. That is going for $750 for that little thing. They sell comics. Lots of comics. Lots of DC comics. I wonder... The brain goes at this. We're getting more DC stuff. I wonder if... Something... That I heard as a rumor is going to come true. I won't get into that here, because I don't want to be in trouble for nothing. I'm not talking about rumors. I ran over an alien. That's interesting. Oh, I found the Doctor Who section. <gasps> I 
This fizzle is horrible. I, I found better ones at Epcot. Never mind. No, that fizz isn't cool. Not at all. So, what else can we find in here? There's all kind of universal stuff, some stuff from uh, Big Bang Theory. Generalized, this is this bunch of nerd stuff. Ooh, there's some Fallout Fault Boy stuff. Interesting. Nice wallet. Oh, it's a bifold, though. That's twenty-one ninety-five. There you go. It's got Halo stuff, some Assassin's Creed things. Oh no! I would have walked by that if I was not trying to get out of here. Hey, Han, are you still watching the uh, the live channel? Because I found Castiel, or is that, hold on, no, that's Sam, excuse me, sorry, that is Sam, oh, they have Sams, like, there's like 15,000 Sams, nothing else, I found Sam, uh, Sam pop figures as well, oh, here, a Crowley, we need a Crowley, don't we, we, we should buy this, right? It's only nineteen dollars. <laughs> so there's no deans. There's Crowley, 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 and Sam, 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 but no deans. That's kind of sad. And the shirts they have is for Firefly below that and Call of Duty. There's not even shirts in here. I'm very disappointed, guys. I'm very, very disappointed. Here's the costumes from Terminator 2 3D that we used to have here. So, show's gone, but the nice costumes are still remaining. Yes, there's never enough Dean to go around. You're absolutely right. I'm saying I can find anything else. Because last time we were in here, there was a bunch of stuff, and now there's, like, nothing. Well, that's for having everything change. All right, we're going to go out this way. I want to get out before that cir uh, the uh, circus. It is a circus. I want to get out before the uh, parade starts rolling through this area. So I got to get over by past the entrance section. Over here, as we get up closer to it, we do have the horror movie makeup show, which I would be more than happy to go to. Except I really would, would like to get home or get going when I need to get done. Uh, next time I'm here, I will. Next time I'm here, I work here. Next time I do a vlog from here, I will go there. Yeah, that's something I really do want to do. Now we skip across the street real quick. This is where they come out of right there for the parade. And get out of the way and move on through. Here's Cafe La Bamba. Cafe La Bamba. A few years ago, for HN at least, they used to have the uh, creature from the Black Lagoon there instead of that swan. Of course, right now it's back to the swan. Now, I saw somewhere that they kept saying, hey, we've got their stuff up for HHN already. But that's not true. Uh, what that is, as in like this right here, has some uh, lights at the very top. What that's actually for is for our nighttime spectacular show. Those are the lights to light up the new area over here that is now the um, seating area for watching the nighttime show. Of course, they also have our media center. Media center's right here. Trading over here. They do have a few other lights. I think it's mostly also because we didn't have much lighting in this area. So they might be dual purposing it. This regular lights and then also on top of that, putting in stuff for HHN for later use. 
But those right here, these things, these are not for HHN. These are for definitely for the nighttime show. It's a projection show on water. So that's why people are seeing them going, hey, HHN stuff? No, not really. Possibly for a few of these structures. Dual purpose. Uh, just before HHN, as you guys, some of you guys probably know, there is, um, what's it called? Uh, Christian rock concert thing. Rock the Universe, that's what it's called. That's coming up soon. So, yeah. Coming up on Simpsons Land. It's probably going to be the longest live feed I've ever done. And only one person is watching. And she doesn't count because she's my girlfriend, fiance, wife, whatever you want to call her at this point. <laughs> oh, she didn't even comment towards that. That's funny. <laughs> I'm kidding. Holly and I have been together for over five years. We're engaged, but we're not married, and it's a long story. Uh, we, I, a lot of times just say, introduce her as my wife. Because at this point, who's arguing? Hey, look, Lord Lad Donuts. In the break room today, they, someone brought in a bunch of donuts for Tony's last day. My boss, Tony. Um, this guy's give you a little bit of a story, I guess. Uh, my boss, Tony, who uh, has worked for a company for quite a while, honestly, just went from working uh, as attractions. Today was his last day at attractions. He's going over to wardrobe. And I, I mean, I'm proud of him. That's good. He's been wanting to get away from attractions for a few years, actually. He finally got around to getting there. Finally got, you know, interviews into the right places. That's excellent. Uh, so, luckily, I still get to see him when I go through wardrobe. But other than that, well, else? much going on there. I don't know, is this a boring life? I don't do live feeds for a purpose. There's no story I can put through here. There's nothing I can do, and I don't talk like this all the time. This is where all the people are, by the way. <laughs> You get to the back of the park now and trying to get through and push through the other sections. In the distance, you can see Men in Black deadly an attack. Over here is the Simpsons ride. The Simpsons ride, which also used to be back to the future. Coming up on our loop here. About to get back to... About to get back to uh, Fear Factor. And then I can get out of here. Gotta go do a few things. You know, go be an adult, I guess. If I have to. No. So. We're gonna take the bridge. I can't see. It's too bright out here and the sun's off, glaring off my eyes off the water. <laughs> yeah, it's very bright out here. So, I wear my sunglasses, but I can't see my screen because my screen, the glasses are polarized and the screen doesn't work with the polarized glasses. Yes, I know. It's Florida. Yes, I get that. I know. Duh, it's Florida. Yeah, I get that. Uh, all right, we're coming back up on London. This is where we started our adventure. Started our roundabouts. Meanwhile, I gotta go to wardrobe, drop off a shirt. And then go home. So. 
that said, everybody, over and out. I'll see you guys soon. Holly, I'll be home later. Bye.